Well, we're going out to a Bailey Bridge here in Lynn Haven this morning. Um, there's a park next to it. A couple hams are going to be there. They're going to be walking the Bailey Bridge and doing pedestrian mobile. I figured I'd grab the camera and video it, you know, um, record this for uh, for YouTube and kind of show uh, show another thing you can do with a hobby, pedestrian mobile. All right. We are on our way to the other bridge, which is a little bit more of a drive. Uh, we're going to the Hathaway Bridge, which actually is the bridge between Panama City and Panama City Beach. Uh, a little bit longer bridge, so I guess it makes uh, makes better sense if you're going to be trying to do pedestrian mobile on that bridge. The Bailey Bridge is uh, between Lynn Haven and Southport on the north, uh, uh, north of Panama City, and it's kind of a shorter bridge. Um, you know, we're going to do the Hathaway Bridge once I found out the right bridge there. Uh, glad I didn't, uh, glad I got a hold of Greg because I would have been sitting there a long time wondering where everybody is. Anyway, so we're going to the Bailey Bri or Hathaway Bridge and we're going to uh, walk across this one. All right, we're here at the bridge, Hathaway Bridge right over there yonder and my 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 look at that cloud as Greg just told me it'll be spectacular if we get struck by lightning there we go there's Greg right there speak of the devil so how tall is your lightning rod I mean antenna gonna be not very <laughs> Let's see. That is it. Yeah, okay. That's just huh? enough to get struck by lightning. Just enough. That's all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a golf club's only about four feet long, and I hear people is getting struck out there. Yeah. yeah. Do they usually get hit on the uh, follow through or the, yeah, yeah. the pre follow? probably the follow-through because they've got all that momentum and they sling those electrons out to the end of the club oh yeah yeah that and that, that yeah yeah on. yeah and that's that's what gets them I understand yep <laughs> right. gonna video you videoing me yeah. there you go <laughs> oh, this is oh, this is... all right we're out here at the foot of the Hathaway bridge with uh, Greg and Dennis and Greg's getting all of his uh, stuff ready to make the walk. Uh, we're going to assess it here. I think we're going to try to make a contact here at the base of the bridge uh, because we do have a lot of weather showing up here. So, uh, did see a couple flashes of lightning. We don't really want to get struck. So, but uh, he's got. Uh, quite the setup there he's got his little GoPro on and got a backpack uh, all of his radio gear it looks like he's using the KX2 and a uh, I believe that's an MFJ whip on there and the Alex Mike is his current setup so uh, let's kind of see what Greg's got going on here number four kilo golf Lima pedestrian mobile Yeah, I mean, a trial run, you know, dry run prep. Two hand, two hand Charlie. <laughs> we are uh, having second thoughts about getting on the bridge with the uh, dark clouds, rain. We can see it, we feel a raindrop, and occasionally we see a lightning bolt. So, you know, we, we just can't make up our minds. What we could do is We could what? In a little while. Yeah. In a drive place. 
If all else fails, lunch. And if not, this was just a kind of a dress rehearsal for uh, the radar challenge, which is a week from today. All right, well, good luck. Good luck, and we'll catch you later. This is N4KGL with KK4DIV and WA6QKN on the side. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, it's raining. <laughs> the wicked wheel. So this is what ham radio operators do when it starts raining. That's right. That's it. All right. <laughs> we give up and go inside and eat. You are going to die if you go down here and you don't have the following thing. They actually, uh, so when that old man leaves, you know, we'll, we'll go back and charge down the hill or not. But. Well, folks, we're back at the house after that little uh, excursion out to the bridge and then the other bridge because I didn't know which bridge they were talking about. Anyway, uh, uh, we got rained out. Uh, that's that's the short story there. Um, thunder and lightning and rain. So we went to the Wicked Wheel out at Panama City Beach and had a wonderful lunch. Uh, I think I got the shovel head. Um, I believe that's what it was called. It was a burger. Uh, with uh, melted provolone cheese, um, grilled mushrooms, and grilled onions. It was delicious. Very good burger. And um, we had to head back out there and try some other things because uh, I like the atmosphere and I like the food. So uh, really good stuff. All right, folks, it's another day here in Panama City. Unfortunately, yesterday got rained out a little bit, but I have some more ham radio I'm going to showcase today. We're going to go down to the clubhouse, the Panama City Amateur Radio Club clubhouse, and we're going to work on our satellite base station rotator system. Uh, this rotator is going to be con computer controlled uh, using the SAT PC32. Uh, some work has already been done on this, getting the interface uh, working for uh, to go be between the uh, the uh, computer and the control box. And today we're going to do a little bit more work on it. So uh, stay tuned, folks. This ought to be really interesting. Um, and we'll be back in a little bit with uh, once we get down to the clubhouse. There she is. Well, we have our azimuth. No, excuse me. We have our elevation rotator okay. right here with this control box. All right. And this is the azimuth rotator control box. And this and then, is the azimuth rotator. Okay. And of course, they have some. Uh, short cables for testing okay between the two and uh, this is the easy rotator control interface and uh, uh, Phil wired up our cable and uh, <coughs> uh, we've got them marked for the uh, rotators there's really no hardware difference, but the software, we, we're using number one for the asthma. So, in the uh, control boxes, <coughs> there's a, a rotor card which has relays on it, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Phil uh, installed the card, uh, drilled a hole here, so the cable's just going to go right on. And um, uh, the relays are wired into various points inside the rotator box. Okay. Yeah. And 
I'm not going to mess with this too much. <laughs> okay. Okay. But the uh, easy rotator control, uh, as I said, has the two outputs, but uh, plugs into the computer with USB. All right. And um, <clears throat> it does need 12 volts when you're using the rotor cards for the relays. So the rest of the magic is in the computer and we've checked it out with the uh, Easy Rotator uh, service mm -hmm. uh, program. And then they have a little uh, just general purpose rotator control. So all that works. Uh, but today we'd like to hook it up to SAT PC32. All right, and see and, if all that works. And that is the software that tracks the satellite and will give the commands to turn the rotators. And we can test this out just here on the desk to make sure it's ready to be installed with a real satellite antenna. Fantastic. Awesome. So <laughs> we did a calibration of the uh, analog feedback from the uh, rotators. So this little red line is where the rotator is at. And um, it gives you um, manual uh, controls. So uh, one detail is that it drops the brake. Mm -hmm. And you can, let's see, um, almost at 360. Let's go maybe to 270 and go. I haven't tried this before, but okay. So it's supposed to turn about 90 degrees. So it's headed for 270 now. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, mm, pretty close. Yeah. Now let's try elevation. Let's just bump it. So. Woo! <laughs> All right, we're heading up to 90 degrees. I'll do a shot. And then I'll put maybe um, 60 degrees in this little box and tell it to go. And. You know, these meters are agreeing with the computer, which is a good sign. There. It's I heard it, it but it was very loud. It wasn't too loud, was it? Yeah. So, I haven't heard anything yet. No. I haven't heard anything mm. out of the rotators. shouldn't do that but actually maybe they don't need to move it says target 300 actual 303 elevation but yeah. we should see that down here too now this says elevation 5 maybe there's a threshold mm. mm hmm maybe not what was that I think I clicked park so it parked. Okay, go back and click execute. Oh, it won't let you. What? Maybe there's a rotator. Hey, I think that's it. There you go. Uh huh. There's a little R. It has an R plus. <laughs> the, the R has to have a plus by it. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Just like the C has to have a plus by it. Okay. okay. There it goes. Working. Huh. The elevation hasn't changed though, has it? Well, the elevation needs to be 21 degrees. So actually, it's, it, pretty it's, yep. it's looking good on that. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, the sound <laughs> of relays clicking, I like that. Yeah. Um, I have a uh, it's, it's changing the frequency. I 
everything's working like it should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, so you don't have to. <laughs> There used to be a couple of restaurants, they have one in Las Vegas. All right, everybody. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this little video right here. It's been a very successful day at the club. We were able to get the PCSAT32 software to communicate with the rotators. I uh, had a little problem getting it going, but it's one little setting. Uh, there's a little R button up there. You had to click it, make sure it had a plus next to it. That's for rotator control. And once we got that figured out, smooth sailing after that. It all did it was what it was supposed to. So. Uh, Successful day down there at the club. I'm really looking forward to continuing that project and getting a satellite base station set up down there at the clubhouse. Uh, but after that, we all uh, took a little lunch break down there at the subway. Um, I had a little bit more video, but I've got this new microphone. It's got a switch that you turn on and turn off. It's got a battery, and I forgot to turn it on. So <laughs> there's no audio, um, but yeah, it wasn't really anything important anyway. Um, we had already done all the stuff at the clubhouse, so uh, it was just a little extra, you know, after the club footage and all that. So, anyway, that's going to be it, and um, we'll uh, see everybody in a future video. I do appreciate you watching and tuning in, and uh, wish everybody the best in 73. This is Bob, KK4DIV. Until next time, bye-bye.